The Hopkinton Hillers girls volleyball team captured their second Division II state championship in the past three seasons last year. Despite losing key players from the championship team, this year's captains are looking to continue the Hillers girls volleyball tradition of winning. Hello, I'm Ivy Gogolin. I'm a senior this year at Hopkinton High School and I'm a middle hitter. Hi, I'm Rachel Zale. I'm also a senior and I'm a right side hitter and a setter. Hi, I'm Jill Serapusco. I'm a senior and I'm a middle hitter. <laughs> All right, so uh, just coming off a uh, state championship year. Uh, first off, how does it feel to be uh, back out there on the court, we'll start off uh, with Ivy. I mean, it feels great. I know we're all really excited, especially coming off the state championship, to get back in the gym and try to win another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. It feels really great. Volleyball's such a great sport, and I love these girls. We had such a good experience last year, and it feels great to be back with them again. It feels good to be back in the gym. It's it's a really fun experience to be back with a lot of the same girls and a lot with a lot of new ones. So we're really excited to get the um, season started, and I think it's going to be a really good one this year. All right, and uh, what are some of the things that you're working uh, working on in these early practices? And also, do you have any personal goals for this season? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think to start off with practices, we're working on finding our groove as a team because there are a lot of new players on the team and even with the returners, some of us haven't played with each other in a while so we're working out the kinks, we've had a couple scrimmages and we're getting better playing together. Yeah, I mean like Ivy said, kind of working out the kinks, especially on serve receive, uh, even just serves in general, um, we're kind of just getting used to doing that together again. Um, in terms of personal goals, um, I would say that for setting, I would really like to start running some plays with these guys. <laughs> it's really fun. So yeah, I'd love to see that this season. They pretty much covered everything, but definitely still meshing as a team. We do have a lot of returners, but it's good to get the new girls in and start working more as a team and meshing. And we're definitely doing that through scrimmages and stuff. And same as Rachel, running more plays in the middle is a personal goal. We have a lot of fun and they're really, they're really cool to put down. and. It's going to be a good season. Hopkinton finished the amazing season as state champions and 22-2 and overall. This year will be a bit different of a situation for the Hillers. If they want to repeat, as for the first season in team history, they will be playing in the Division I playoff bracket rather than Division II. Yeah, I'm so excited to be in D1 this year. I mean, last year uh, there certainly wasn't like a lack of competition. But I think it's really going to be great to see, you know, like the big guns like Barnstable, Newton North. Um, it'll be great to see them this season and kind of like challenge ourselves a little more. And compared to last year, how do you think this uh, team's looking? Is it pretty similar or you, is there a few differences? I'd say it's pretty similar. I'd say we do have a lot of the same girls, but we're definitely filling, refilling in positions with a lot of our seniors gone and some setters gone. So I'd say it's definitely pretty similar. We all kind of have the same goals and the same way that we practice and we play. So it's looking pretty good and we're excited. Despite a bit more of a difficult road in the postseason, Coach Grabmeyer believes this team has the talent and ability it needs to succeed. Um, so far we're looking really good. We lost some key senior leadership, but uh, the underclassmen have really stepped up. And this year with the six seniors that we have, all of them were major contributors in last year's state championship team. So um, they're really leading the way right now. And this is the first season where you'll be in the uh, Division I playoff bracket. Uh, did this affect the uh, regular season schedule at all or how you prepare for the season? Uh, our regular season is looking pretty much the same, except we have De Dedham this year, new to the Tri-Valley League. Uh, our postseason is where it's going to really make a difference because we're playing teams that we've seen in scrimmages before, but, um, you know, it's tournaments a whole new beast. So we're looking forward to the different competition. All right, terrific. And uh, are the girls are confident and uh, maybe had a chance to repeat for a state title even though they're going to be in Division One this year? I don't think there's been a season where the girls haven't put that down as a goal that they, they want to play their best and always a state championship. Um, once you've been there, it's, it's something that you want to repeat and they work hard to be able to get back there again. So uh, they're, they're sure looking forward to it. I'm sure it's going to be another fun ride and we certainly look forward to the season.